Crosso, and welcome to cooperators everywhere on Robert Owen's 250th anniversary. We especially welcome cooperators from other countries, uh, including Japan, Italy, Greece, and other UK countries. My name is David Smith from Cooperatives and Mutuals Wales, and who with our chair, Chris Hall, and a small band of volunteers have made this event possible. You all know who you are, and thank you very much for all your hard work. This is the first of several ON events we're organizing during 2021. Today we'll be recording the main event, but not breakout groups. So remove yourself from the screen when required. We are gathered today because Owen speaks globally to the hopes and struggles of people seeking to make the world a better place. Today, we are focused upon the future of the cooperative movement and we'll be asking ourselves, how do we keep Owen's ideals for a better society burning brightly? The outcome of the day and all our efforts will be a contribution to Owen's legacy on his 250th anniversary. Normally at previous events, we would explain safety precautions and where the toilets can be found. It is our expectation, however, that you will find a splendid feast awaiting you on your dining room table at the end of the proceedings so we can all toast Robert Owen's birthday accordingly. Nevertheless, it is my pleasure to introduce a pre-recorded video of Newtown's Mayor, Councillor David Selby, who has been very proactive and who fully understands the significance of Robert Owen. Can we put a spotlight on uh, David, uh, Chris, so everybody can actually see uh, what a marvellous chap we've had here uh, supporting us uh, in the background there. There have been uh, many a problem on the way, but with David's superb negotiating skills, we've uh, managed to recover. So over to David now. We are proud to have both a statue of Robert in an area known as the Robert Owen Gardens and his memorial next to the ancient church of St Mary's near to the river. As I speak to you, you will be able to see views of our town. Some of these views Robert would have been able to recognise 200 years ago. When Robert was born, the town of Newtown had approximately 1500 inhabitants. By the time he returned and died, the population had grown to near 7,000. The transformation of Newtown echoed that of many places around our country at that time. New houses were built, new workplaces constructed, and canals and rivers transformed the connection between settlements, all within one person's lifetime. The Industrial Revolution, as we call it, transformed our landscape, but more importantly, our society. Robert Owen recognised, along with others, that human labour was and is not just a commodity or a cost of production. The drive for efficiency brought the building of industrial mills, some of which survive as buildings around our town today. Terrace workers, housing, and with it, sadly, poor working conditions. Whilst we may celebrate entrepreneurs, the mill owners, and the scale of industrial change, it took Robert Owen and other social reformers to recognise that the distribution of the benefits of those changes was not equal. And indeed, most had additional suffering as their lives became regulated and controlled by their employers. We are blessed here that we both have the Robert Owen Museum and a textile museum to show new generation what life was like in the 1880s, to give them the opportunity to learn that some of our important legal protections were given birth in the writings of Robert Owen and others protections for employees, the growth of the cooperative movement, all have a connection to the struggles that Robert first witnessed here in our small town. I and we of Newtown are proud to be part of the celebration of Robert Owen's birth and life and hope that you will enjoy the sessions today. Oh, thank you. Well, from Newtown, we go live to Japan to hear from Akira Kurimoto a leading authority on Owen's influence and acceptance in Japan. Uh, Akira is a former general secretary of the Robert Owen Association in Japan 
and a leading member of the organizing committee for the International Cooperative Alliance's Global Conference in Seoul, which takes place in December of 2021. It's our pleasure to introduce Akira today uh, on Owen's uh, anniversary. Akira, over to you. Hello, everyone. Now I'd like to speak from Far East, from Japan, uh, to give you greetings from Japan on the occasion of the 250th anniversary of Robert Owen. Uh, first, I must say the, uh, con congratulations uh, to the anniversary of Robert Owen. Uh, Robert Owen inspired Rochdale pioneers in England that led to the uh, sorry establish of the uh, to establish the uh, uh, the ICA and Rochdale principles became the corporate principles. Today, the ICA re represents. 1 billion members in 3 million cooperatives in 100 plus countries. The Japanese cooperatives are among the largest in the world. Uh, for instance, agricultural cooperatives are ranked as number one and number two in the uh, global statistics, uh, while the consumer cooperatives, 30 million members, cover a half of Japanese households and stand for 70% of European counterparts. In my short greetings, I will touch upon three topics. Influence of Robert Owen in Japan, Robert Owen Association, and the History Museum in the Corp Corbis Corporate College. Uh, Robert Owen was translated since 1874 and uh, publications appeared since 1891, soon after the Meiji Restoration which started the Japanese modernization. Uh, Owen's multilateral influence to child care, social welfare, and social movements is very clear. And Owen seen as a father of socialism, and, but Owen found the largest support in the cooperative movement in Japan, accepted by cooperative leaders such as Toyohiko Kagawa and Sadao Nakabayashi. And he had given, uh, he has given rather limited inspiration to communal life. There are some, but, but very, very small. Owen studied, as pursued by researchers of social philosophy, he, uh, has made up the Robert Owen Association. And there are uh, at least two uh, collections of, of Robert Owen in Hitotsubashi University and Meiji University in Tokyo. Uh, now I come to uh, the Robert Owen Association. It was founded by Shigeru Goto and, and others in 1955, commemorating a centenary of Robert, Robert Owen's demise. Uh, it was revived, revived on Owen's bicentenary, bicentenary in 1971, receiving uh, Mrs. Caroline Dale Owen. Following. Asushi Shirai had described some uh, Owen's impact in the Japanese society. Now, the Jap Robert Owen Association has 70 plus members. Uh, there are uh, some colleagues who are joining here today amongst the Robert Owen Association members. It is located in the Consumer Cooperative Institute of Japan in Tokyo. And it holds quarterly study meetings and publish the Robert Owen Annals since 1975. Uh, this association uh, had lectures by Donald Pizza from uh, United States, Johnston Virgil, Gregory Kreis from UK. This is a uh, Japanese uh, publication, uh, Robert Owen Annals uh, for 2020. There are two English publications. Uh, one was Robert Owen and the World of Cooperation, edited by Chu Suzuki uh, in 1992 to commemorate the ICA's Tokyo Congress. And you can see here the uh, famous uh, uh, researchers of uh, Robert Owen, like 
Gregory Kreis, Hayden, Lloydon Harrison, and JFC Harrison, etc. The second publication in English was The Emergence of Global Citizenship, Utopian Ideas, Cooperative Movements, and the Third Sector, edited by Chish Suzuki, uh, Naohumi uh, Hijikata, and myself in 2005, includes uh, uh, essays by Gregory Kreis and Ian Donahue, Rita Rose, R Roger Spear, and Johnston Birchell. Finally, I'd like to touch upon very shortly the Robert uh, History Museum in the Cooperative, uh, Co Cooperative Kobe, uh, a replica of the Totorain Museum was opened in 1991 as a part of the Coop College, commemora Co 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 College commemorating Coop Kobe's 70th anniversary. It has a large, larger size than the original one and contains exhibitions of, exhibitions of Co cooperative history and uh, Toyoko Kawa's archives. A plaque was set at the CRS in Manchester head office uh, commemorating the Kobe earthquake in 1995. Uh, in conclusion, uh, Owen's ideas are essential for anyone who care about social reform, uh, social care, social welfare, reform of economics, and the achievements of the United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, Owen has been repeatedly discovered and studied in Japan. Cooperative leaders have been inspired by Owen's ideas and practices. We will revisit Robert Owen as a part of the Coop Corbett Centenary this year. Robert Owen Association has promoted the studies on Robert Owen and the history of World Corporate Movement. We will learn from Welsh initiatives to disseminate Owen's idea in the school education, one of the greatest heritage of Owen that is still relevant in today's society. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Akira, for your uh, valued contribution.